Welcome to March's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is missing number. Given an array nums containing n distinct integers in the range of 0 to n, return the only number in the range that is missing from the array. Follow up can you implement using only O1 space and O of n runtime complexity. So if we had an array like this, we had 0, 1, and 3, we can see that obviously 2 is missing because we know that all our numbers are going to be between 0 and 3. They're all going to be distinct and only one will be missing, so obviously one of them will be a number like this. Alright, so if we didn't care about time space complexity, or I'm sorry, if we didn't care about space complexity, all we would need to do literally is to make some sort of a hash and check to see which number is missing between the range of 0 to n. Right, so n would be length of nums. And we can just say 4i in range of n, and I believe you need to add plus 1 here because it's inclusive of 0 to n. We say if i not in c, then return the i. And that should be it. This should return 2. Let's go ahead and submit this. And accept it. So this would be O of n time, but we do use O of n space. If we don't want to use space, what can we do? Uh, well, there's various approaches, but probably the easiest way would be to simply use a formula to count up the sum of everything in 0 to n inclusive. We have a formula for that, right? We just get the, if you imagine it like a rectangle cut in half diagonally, you can just get the length of uh, the width and the length of the height plus 1 and divide it by 2. Uh, and that's going to give us the sum here. So we can just get rid of all this. Uh, what we'll do is get the, let's call it the sum of the expected. This would be, let's see, n times n plus 1 divided by 2, right? And now we got the sum of the actual, which would be the sum of nums. And literally, we just return the sum of what's expected, because we know this will always be greater, since 1 is missing here, sum of actual. So this should also work, and this would be O of 1 space. And there we go, accepted. All right, so I mean, there are probably variations to this problem. Uh, one of the first thoughts I had was, is there a way we could uh, mark the array itself to see which ones we visited? But that's that really wasn't necessary because the question is pretty easy. Um, you could also sort it, obviously, but that's going to be n log n. And there are some bitwise solutions, but don't really want to go into those. So, alrighty, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.